Hey guys, it's Riley here and welcome to episode 19 of Let's FIFA 17. And this episode we are going to pick up those special squad building challenge players and we're going to build a hybrid squad around them. So I sold on a whole bunch of items from the last episode, all the packs we opened towards the end there, and most of them sold on. I got 237,000 coins, and I also did a little bit of trading with some Sanes, just like three to four of them, made a couple of thousand coins there as well. And then it was time to pick up the squad building challenge players, and that was of course the Scream Team players. Now I wanted to get Pyatt as well, but I had to um, face it, I could not get enough coins to get Pyatt, Costa and Gaspar. So I settled for Gaspar and Costa and um, yeah, I picked up these Scream Team players between 54 and 55,000 coins. I got two Mansukages, I would get one Chala Nuklu and one Salah card. Now, um, I was sort of hoping that after the 1st of November, where their boost disappeared, they would go further down in price, but they didn't really do that. And in fact, it was last weekend, they actually were on the cheapest, down at around 40,000 coins. And then they went back up in price, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, I could have gotten the cheaper, but uh, it doesn't really matter too much whether we gotten them cheap or we got them at this price. We would not have been able to afford Pyatt at all, whether we bought them at 40 or 55,000 coins. However, okay, we lose 60,000 coins more than we would have, but I think eventually we'll make those coins back and it won't be too big of a problem. Now, I would have loved to have gotten Pyatt, but uh, unfortunately, I didn't have time to uh, trade this week. I just had a really busy week at university. We have a deadline for Tuesday uh, for this upcoming week. So uh, yeah, I had some pretty stressful days and this weekend is going to be a little bit packed as well. But I hope that I will have some time to record, record some FIFA stuff here on the weekend. And then after Tuesday next week, we get a couple more uploads out. So we have more than two uploads uh, a week. So we get up to around three to four, maybe five uploads a week but yeah just some busy days and i apologize for that but i know you guys understand why there's not videos up every single day anyways back to the squad building um we picked up those scream team players and then around them i bought a bunch of cheap Serie A players i think it cost me eight thousand coins to get the Serie A players in for the two squad building challenges and then of course i spent two hundred twenty thousand coins for the four screen team players. So a little bit under 230,000 coins to complete uh, the squad building challenges and get the two uh, position modified players in Gaspar and Costa. And uh, following that, I sold on a bunch of the players that hadn't sold on last time around on the transfer list and it left me with 18,000 coins. Then I spent 12,000 of those coins to build a squad around Gaspar and Costa. And I decided to go with the 3 4 2 1 formation. I tested out a bit while streaming and I heard some good stuff about it. And of course, uh, Japes also made a bit of a video on it. So uh, I thought, you know, you know what, let's give it a go. And if you haven't seen Japes' video and might be wondering if you should try out the free at the back, I'll leave a link to it down below in the description because uh, previous years I always hated playing with free at the back. I felt too vulnerable. But this year with the custom tactics, you can definitely play with this and still have a strong defensive core. I'd still say your center backs need to be sort of fast still. So uh, I decided to go with some pretty fast and somewhat physical center backs. So we got Gaspain, of course. Uh, then we have Koulibaly and Rudiger. So uh, I think that is a pretty strong backline. Reina in the net. Now moving on to the left mids and right mids. Uh, left mid, I went with Castileo quite fast and he got some pretty decent work rates uh, medium high so he will sort of stay back on the defense he got the four star skills as well which i'm pretty happy about um, and then we have our midfielders and uh, i wanted to have a bit more of a box to box midfielder both my cms will have medium attacking work rate high defensive work rate it might be nice to have one of them have a high attacking work rate as well but i think alan got some well-rounded stats to get back and forth to be honest and then gustavo will drop a bit deep and on the right mid we have another player with a high defensive work rate and that is Bellarabi. he got the high high work rates on him and the four star skills i guess in some way you could call this a glorified five at the back because your wingers or right mids and left mids will sort of work as wing backs to some extent. Uh, and then we got our right forwards and left forwards. Perisic, five star weak foot, four star skill moves, decent pace and well rounded stats. Costa, of course, a player I really like on the game. And then I went back to a good old striker we used before in this series, Javitic. I really do like him on the game and I think he will be excellent to play with. Now, the way this formation is going to work is when we attack, we will uh, go a lot down the wings, I'd assume, and uh, that is uh, a way I like to play a lot. And then now we have two sort of 
two players on the wing that can skill uh, right mids and right wingers or right forwards, I suppose. So uh, going forward, I will have... I will, I will be able to bring my right mids and left mids forward if I want to, but else I will have them to be so defensive and when I defend, uh, I'll have my backline drop a bit back and then try and slow down my opponent's counterattacks and get my right mids and left mids back to defend. So while defending, ideally it should be sort of five at, five at the back and then two uh, midfielders that will drop back and when going forward, will have a lot of at, uh, attacking options out on the wings and then of course two players in the midfield which aren't the most attacking but they can distribute the ball around. That's sort of the thought process with the team. So yeah, moving on to our first match, we're back into Division 6. We're sitting on six points from two matches. Uh, last time we played in it and of course we're going to see if we can continue the good streak with our newly built squad and we are up against a 4-3-1-2 Serie A squad I haven't played much with that formation and uh, he has my opponent to get the first chance here bit of a random situation there but apart from that my defense stood pretty solid in this match and he has cost on the ball a couple of skill moves tries to get a pass in doesn't really work but he picks it back up and that little shooting upgrade coming in hand in handy on that squad building challenge card and he scores from distance to make a 1-0 and Costa here winning me a free kick as well. I really like to play with the card and um, I know it's expensive. We paid a lot of coins to get him but I feel like the best wingers with skill moves on the game is on the left hand side and the fact that I can get Costa over on the right hand side means that we can play with two exceptionally good wingers in my opinion. Once we get some more coins and start building some really nice skill squads then we have Costa and maybe in the long run Neymar on the left hand side for some cool squats. Anyways, we got a goal, Costa with the assist there, Perisic with the header, he's quite tall Perisic, so he won that, and uh, in the end, my opponent race quits. So the perfect start to our new squad, our defense stood solid, um, he had that one chance of the free kick, and then I think he had a couple more shots, but they weren't really troubling me or my goalkeeper at all, and apart from that, we're ready to head on into another match in Division 6, and I actually got matched up against a really nice looking squad, 4-3-2-1, PSG, Leverkusen, and um, Inder squad, and then I guess a bit of Schalke as well in Fairman, but a good looking squad, got Jovetic and Perisic in their attack, just like me, a quite strong squad that was indeed, and uh, this match was... Not the best of connections, there was quite clumsy at times, but here's Jovetic on the board, bringing on into the box, and I tried for the chip, I'm still sort of trying to find the perfect weight to put on those chips, and if you find out if you can score from there, but uh, yeah, here we use the advantage of having two wingers, Bellarabi completely open, trying out a shot, but hitting the crossbar there, unlucky not to get the goal, and here, <laughs> my opponent with a crazy long shot, just wide off the post, for a second, I actually thought that one was going in, but again, we use our left mid here, and cast Leo bringing on four, we find Jovetic and uh, we get a shot in and again yeah quite lucky but in the end we're lucky to get the rebound. We should really have put that in uh, into the back of the net on the first shot but didn't quite work out. Yet again attacking down the wing we find Perisic here and he brought off his keeper, keeper off the line, tried for the chip and yet again not really having the lock uh, on those chips. I really want to be able to hit those perfectly. So it's going to be some trial and error trying to sort of find the sweet spot for the chips. But we go into the box here. Costa on the board beats the player. Yet again, we try for the chip. And this one almost perfect. And in the end, we are lucky to get the rebound. Jovetic with yet another goal to his name, making it 2-0. My opponent is sort of getting the ball here. All sorts of random stuff happening in the box. Because apart from that, I felt our defense stood very, very solid. At least my opponent, though, couldn't hit the target. And, uh, yeah, at being up 2-0, I feel a little bit more confident. We got some more skill moves going. I do find it quite difficult to break down people this year with skill moves compared to previous years, especially with the AI defending. It is just, like... It's very, very, very difficult to get past at times, um, especially if your opponent's standing uh, quite defensive like they do in the foot championships. Uh, I struggle a little bit with the skill moves, but uh, of course, going up with the two goal lead, I got some skill moves going here, and in the end, I would pick up a free kick here with Douglas Costa. And of course, we're going to give that a go. Free kicks is something I haven't practiced too much this year, but we got a pretty decent effort in here from Costa, but the keeper would save that in the end. And I really dislike how you can't really see where the shot is going. It always changes the angle just as the ball gets to sort of the goal and you never really see what happens. I wish they would change the angle back to how it was last year. Anyways, we won this match. My opponent had six shots but not on target and most of them were not really troubling us. I felt like the two matches we played despite playing three at the back, our defensive line stood very solid. We had a lot of possession. We created a lot of chances and we managed to win two games 
to nil. And that is going to be where we end off this episode. In the next episode, we will see if we can win a Division 6 and move on through into Division 5. But for now, we're going to end it off here, guys. I hope you did enjoy this episode. And that is pretty much all. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later.